Welcome, everybody, to the Magical Moves Show. I'm your host, Jason Diffendahl, and here with me is my co-host, Eric Gross of Magical Moves. Eric, you want to introduce yourself? Thanks for having me. Yeah, I uh, run a real estate team here in the in Orlando that specializes in uh, fans that want to move to the city beautiful here. Yep. So, uh, so this show, if you if you missed our premiere episode last week, you can go back and watch it. But uh, this show is going to focus on real estate around the Central Florida area, specifically uh, looking at Disney World for the most part. Um, not real estate in Disney World, real estate around Disney World. Because if you want to buy real estate in Disney World, you're probably not watching our show. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I've, I've showed homes in, um, I've showed one home in Golden Oak. And yeah. It was, it was the highlight of my career. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, specifically about Horizon West, which is a, an area. Um, sort of northwest of Disney property. Uh, as, as We talked a little bit last show. So I moved down here a year and a half ago from Pennsylvania um, and went through a lot of uh, a lot of effort to try to find a house that, that fit all of my wants and needs. Um, we fit a lot of our needs, not all of our wants. You didn't um, get the pool. I didn't get the pool. Uh, but we're going to we're going to talk about uh, where we ended, where I ended up, which is Horizon West. We're going to talk about that area um, specifically, and why you may want to look at houses in that area. Um, and if you do want to look at houses in that area, reach out to Eric at Eric at MagicalMoves dot com, uh, and he will help you out uh, to find hopefully your dream house. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so let's look at a map. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look at a lot of. In this uh, in this show at these maps because it's really important to understand where all these areas are that we're talking about and also um, you know how close they are if you're a Disney fan and you're looking to be as close to the to the magic as possible which is which was me um, you're going to need to know where these places are in relation to Disney World and and um, so that's that was a big thing for me, and I assume it's a big thing for a lot of people that are moving to Orlando is to try to try to be close to the parks. Um, so we're going to look at this is sort of the greater Orlando area, um, and uh, we're going to zoom in to the Disney area, which is so Disney. Let me see. Oh, there's there's my cursor. So this is Disney World down here. You can see the Magic Kingdom. Um, so this is all Disney World. It's southwest of Orlando, and then we're going to zoom in a little more. Um, so here is, let's see, there we go. Uh, so here's Magic Kingdom. Uh, Epcot is down here. Uh, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. So this is this is the the main main part of Disney World right here, um, and. So there's a couple different places. There's Golden Oak, as as you just said, Eric. Um, but there's a couple different options uh, for for living near as near as possible to the Magic Kingdom. Um, so the the um, I guess the town of Windermere is it a ta town? Windermere yeah, is a town, right? Yeah, there's the town of Windermere, which is a little north of this map, um, right? And then where we're talking about today is Hamlin, right over where it says Orange County National Golf Center and Lodge. Yep. That's kind of the heart, the heart of the Hamlin area. And right. I think it's kind of important to mention all the names of Horizon yeah. West and Hamlin. Yeah. Because developers have marketed it as Hamlin area. If you look at it on a map, it says Horizon West. Yep. And then since you live there, your address is probably Winter, Winter Garden. Garden. Yeah. Yes. So it's... We, we've got multiple names for it. I mostly call it like Hamlin Horizon West area. Yeah. Um, I think those two are kind of interchangeable. So um, it, it, as far as like zip codes and things, yeah, the, the very north of of this map that you're seeing here um, up in in this area, this is technically Windermere. Um, if you go west of here, this is technically Winter Garden. And if you go east of here, this is over here, we'll talk about too, this is technically Orlando. Mm -hmm. Um, and so 
our our so here's the other weird thing. Let's zoom out for a minute here. Winter Garden's way up here. Yep. Right? This is the town of Winter Garden. When people say Winter Garden, I think this is what they think about because it's a really cool town. Yep. Um and it's really fun, but we're like 25 minutes away from there. Yep. Um, we're all the way down here where, where it says Horizon West, actually even even further down than that. Um, so we are in the Winter Garden zip code, but we're nowhere near Winter Garden. We're just in the, an unincorporated area of Orange County. Yep. Anything really south of that big lake, right, where it says Winter Garden, is Winter Garden minus the Oakland and Windermere areas. Right. So those are all yep. towns, but everything else is going to just incorporate, be incorporated as Winter Garden. As Winter Garden. Yep. So everything along this 429. Um, we'll talk about 429 a little bit too. Um, so I'm going to zoom back into the Disney and Horizon West area just to give you your, oops, I don't want that, to give you your bearing. So, so here's the Magic Kingdom. Right, and if you've never driven um, behind the Magic Kingdom, um, there is uh, a road called Floridian Place that takes you past the Grand Floridian. It's the road that the Grand Floridian is on. Yep. It takes you past the Grand Floridian and out the back of Disney property. Um, and that meets up with Reams Road, which anyone I think who's ever worked at Disney knows Reams Road. That's yep. the that's the road uh, behind Disney property where uh, the parking lot for the Magic Kingdom is. Yep, you can see Disney um, University. You can see the the beast behind the the image, yeah. all the buildings. Yep, and cast members going to work. I'm going to switch to the uh, the the satellite view. We could we could zoom in a little more here, right? So here is here's the Magic Kingdom. Um, and then Floridian Place takes you back, and here's Reams Road. So all this back here, Disney University, um, the, the the steam trains roundhouse, the monorail roundhouse uh, is all back here. Um, and then, but on the north side of Floridian Place and the north uh, northeast side of Reams Road, that's not Disney property anymore. So on on one corner you have di- the Disney uh, Disney parking lot, but right across the other corner you're off of Disney property. So this is at the very northern end of Disney property, um, which means it's actually not too hard to get a house that's super close to the Magic Kingdom. That's the closest place you can buy a home. Yeah, to Disney, except. Golden Oak because right. it's surrounded by Disney, but at a you know an affordable price, that's the area. Yeah, um, and so if you look at so coming from the Magic Kingdom on Floridian um, to get to my house, you turn left on Reams Road, and you're going to go up Reams Road to this intersection uh, right here. So this is an intersection of three roads: it's Reams, Fiquet, and Summer Lake Park Boulevard. Um, as you can probably guess, Reams is an old name. Well, Reams is a lake, Lake Reams over here. So Reams Road is named after a lake. I have no idea what Fiquette is named after. I don't know either. Um, and then Summer Lake Park Boulevard sure sounds like it's the name of a development or something, right? Um, and and that's that's absolutely the case. So once yeah. you uh, once you once you get onto Summer Lake Park Boulevard here from this intersection, uh, this is all pretty much newly developed land within the last five or so years. Yeah, it's all residential right in the area. Probably the last ten years or so. But um, so that's all residential. And uh, down here you see Lakeview Point. That's where my house is. So we ended up at Lakeview Point, which oh, is so off. You of, are right next to. You're really right there. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, um, so Seidel Road um, is a road that, that comes off of Summer Lake Park, and this actually takes you down and connects with 429 down here in the left. Um, so Lakeview Point is is kind of a really nice, um, really close area. But also, if you look at where Lakeview Point is compared to the Magic Kingdom, Right, they launched the Magic Kingdom fireworks from behind the Magic Kingdom. So back here, um, we're absolutely close enough to see the fireworks, which I have you to probably imagine. You hear them a lot. Too. Oh, we hear like them very loudly. Yeah. from where you're at. Yep. Um, and so I have to imagine if you're watching the show and you're thinking of moving to Orlando, um, you want to be as close to them, the Disney as you can. Watching the fireworks from your backyard may be a pretty cool perk. Um, 
and we can. So a lot of these places, a, a lot of these um, developments around here that we're going to talk about in Horizon West and Hamlin, um, you can probably see the fireworks. Obviously, some houses are going to be blocked by trees or neighbors yeah. or whatever. Um, but when I was looking for my house, that was one of the things. Um, we actually came back at night to, to see and make sure that we could see the fireworks um, because that was something that was important to us. So if that's important to you, um, maybe you should schedule your, your house hunting expeditions for 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that neighborhood right across from you, um, it's kind of got like the, the, the roundabout with two spouts, yeah, right in here. Yep. Um, I've, I showed a lot of homes in that area when that was being built, and um, that's built by Ashton Woods. And you, I have pictures of that neighborhood where it looks like you're, at, you're on property seeing uh-huh. the fireworks. Like yes. It's, you're in the neighborhood, but you're, you've got Disney firework views. It's wild. Right? Yep. No, it is crazy. It is crazy. Um, so, yeah, uh, if, uh, if seeing fireworks from your backyard is, is important to you, then this is a great area to be in because you're pretty much directly west of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Um, and then a little south of like the downtown Hamlin shopping area. Yes. So let's talk. So Horizon West is kind of this area. Um, you see Horizon West Barbershop. Um, Horizon West is kind of this area that's on the map now, I would say. Right. So uh, uh, if, if north of Disney property mm-hmm. and a little bit to the west um, this is kind of the area they call Horizon West. Highlights of Horizon West are the Orange County National uh, Golf Club. That's one of the bigger golf courses around here. I think they have tournaments and stuff there. Yeah, that's um, a really – I mean, I don't golf, but my brother and, it, and my dad do, and they that's one of the nicest yeah. courses around. Yes. Um, yeah, so you've got, the, you've got the golf course, and then a little bit further north they've got – Mainly your shopping area. You've got the Publix, the Walmart, right. the movie theater, all built within really like the last six years, I want to say. Yep. So really new, really modern looking. So this uh, Orlando Health Hospital, this is almost brand new, like only opened a year ago, yeah. I think. Um, so you've got we've got a hospital right there. Um, there's an interchange uh, onto the 429. So 429 is a toll road. We're going to talk about 429 a lot when we're over here because – it's a toll road, but it's also uh, not super crowded road. It's real easy to get around. It's um, kind of your only main way in and out of Hamlin. I mean, you can take other routes through yeah. through Windermere or other ways, but it, they're just so roundabout know, backwards, and you go around the lakes that it's not. Yes, it's not really. Yep. So that is that's actually one of the the things. Um, a key point is there are so many lakes here that you can be super close to something and it still takes you a long time to get there. Yep. Um, so it's one of the sort of more frustrating things. Like if you look at, if you look at this, um, so this, this first watch over here, there's a shopping center over here in Windermere. Um, it's like straight over from where I live, but it's so you have to go all the way down and around this loop to get there. It's kind of crazy. So if you're, if you're new to looking at Orlando uh, real estate, um, the lakes are something to get used to. I was talking about this with my boyfriend a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about traffic in Orlando. And the reason I think it takes so much longer to get places is because most cities have like a loop system or a grid system for traffic, and we don't really have no. either here. It's just kind of whatever works because we've got it's it's yeah the free Disney for all center. We've got the actual downtown area, and then however we can connect it. Right. We, we can. Yeah, I mean like look at look at Reams Road and it comes up here and then yeah. it goes back down. Like this is crazy. It's wild, yeah. Nobody would plan roads like that. Yep. But you have to because of the lakes and all the water and the marshes and everything. So it that's a, a big feature of the landscape here that And that's is, all Disney property too, right? In between Seidel and Reams, that green um, that green space. I think no, I don't think it is actually. I think oh, Disney it ends property right at ends channel. at this channel. Yep, yep. that's it. Um, so this is this is the northern boundary of Disney property, and this is kind of so Disney property does go over here, though I think to some extent. And um, yes, it borders that neighborhood that I was just talking about. Yeah, right, that's what I was. That thinking. neighborhood you were talking about, this neighborhood, and down here. Um, so Reedy Lake is part of Disney property, and actually, uh, if you've ever driven down here on 429, there's a big um, uh, solar. Yep. 
solar panel farms. Those are all on Disney property. Those are actually Disney solar farms. Did you um, know that the the fireworks munitions is stored pretty close to your house at the corner of that property? It's way up there. Yeah, <laughs> you're um, right next to where all the fireworks are stored. Yep. No, that's very true. Uh, let's let's flip. Yeah, it might label the... it if you zoom in enough. Um, yeah. So. I always right thought that there. was funny. <laughs> Maple Loop. Yeah. Uh, you can't just drive here because there's a lot of gates in in the way. But this, yeah, Maple Loop is where the where the fireworks are stored, um, <laughs> and that's pretty pretty close to, you know, houses over here. Yeah, for sure. Um, which is which is kind of crazy, uh, but uh, you know, I think I don't think I don't expect there to be an accident with fireworks. Um, but if there so, is, you'll know about it. <laughs> but if there is, we will certainly know. Um, yeah, so, so there's not much really that's going to be built off of um, Seidel and Reams. If no. you look at all of this available land, it won't be built on, be, or not all of it, because a lot of it is needed for drainage, you know, just right. for like watershed purposes. Yep. So um, that's why that neighborhood right there is shaped so funny. You've got the roundabout and then two kind of like satellite neighborhoods. Right. Because they were required to do that for just watershed purposes. Right, right. Yeah, so so just because you see open space with no roads doesn't mean they're ever going to build houses there. Um, They'll try wherever they can, but not right there. <laughs> but, uh, but it certainly is the case that there's a lot of unbuildable land. Right. Um, so, and, and as time goes on... Um, you know, a lot of this land is getting built. And a lot of these houses over here in Horizon Western are new within the past five or ten years, as we said. Um, but they're also kind of running out of space um, in this in this area. So one of the things that was important to me um, when looking for a house, like to be close to the, to the Disney property, I kind of wanted to be like inside of 429. Mm. Um, and so, but the the available land inside of 429, which inside, uh, I mean, to the east of 429, that's, there's not much land left in there that's not been at least started on. Yeah, I would agree with um, that. So a lot of the new build now is over here on Avalon Road, um, along up and down Avalon Road. This is all fairly new construction in a lot of these places too. Yeah, Waterley, that huge subdivision yeah. um, on the bottom left. That's They're Waterley. building there because, you know, that's buildable land right there. Yep. But, yeah, um, that's a huge neighborhood. Yes, it is. Uh, and so um, so that's all cons- – I mean, that Waterley and, and all the places around Hickory Nut Lake here, that's all still considered Horizon West. It's just on the west side of 429. There's not a whole lot over there other than houses. Um, mm-hmm. They put in a Publix. There's a public shopping yep. center that's down here. Uh, I want to say it's in this area. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, right so there's a public there. shopping center that's brand new. Like this Publix just opened, I think, six months ago. Um, uh, but it's not a big shopping center. But there's, other than that, everything else around this area is all residential. Um, so there's probably a lot of houses for sale in there. Um, but then if you go up north, so you go up north on Avalon, this is where the bigger shopping center is in Horizon West. Um, uh, so you go up Avalon Road or you go up Porter Road, which is somewhere like Park Boulevard turns into Porter Road. Mm-hmm. This was another like really pet peeve of mine when we were looking at houses is that road names just like change. To just like oh, this is the same road. Let's just call it something. I else. I never really thought about that, but yeah, um, you know, it, it's the same road. Let's just call it something else. Why? Like, does it not confuse people? I it confused me. Like, I've gotten used to it now, but it really confused me and annoyed the heck out of me when we were looking at houses because, like, you're like, oh, well, here's a house. It's right near that other one, but it's on a different road. But it's it's not it's a different the same road. road. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Um, <laughs> Super weird. But anyway, so this um, this big development that you see here is Summer Lake. Um, this is probably six or seven years old, maybe eight. Uh, but this is a huge development. Um, I know there's, we looked at houses in there too. So that's a, that's a big residential area. That's a pretty um, neighborhood too. The houses on Lake Hancock right there are Oh, are they're beautiful. so nice. They're so nice. Um, and then north of Lake Hancock... Uh, this is called in New Independence. Mm-hmm. Um, 
this is a big development that's basically all um, on one main road. You'll see, though, that you can't get across easily. Like, this looks <laughs> like it would be a good shortcut, right? But these are all residential roads, and they didn't make, like, a big main roadway nope. through there. Um, so New Independence is nice area, too. Um, it's a little newer than Summer Lake, uh, but... And it's it's also nice because you can access it, like we talked about how to get to places. You can access it from 429 uh, on the west side, or you can access it from Fiquette Road on the east side. So this is sort of nice, too. Um, but driving around in there, that's kind of like, it's kind of maddening. It's pretty, but yeah, there's a lot of turns. There's a lot of turns. Um, but the big the big shopping area in Horizon West that I think most people think of when, when you say Horizon West is up here right, right. around... Uh, the intersection of New Independence Parkway and 429. Um, so on the on the southern side of New Independence Parkway, there's a big shopping center. There's a Publix. There's an Urban Air. Um, there's also a bunch of restaurants in here. Uh, there's a McDonald's. There's a Tijuana Flats. Um, I mean, Tijuana Flats. Starbucks. Where yeah. isn't there a yeah. Tijuana or Flats Starbucks, though? Right yeah. or Starbucks? There's a Starbucks. In, so on the north side is a is another shopping center. Um, which is anchored by a big Walmart. Um, but there's a Starbucks up there. There's a Wendy's up there. Um, and then they started to build a little bit more along New Independence Parkway here. On the south side, there's a movie theater and um, uh, another For Ford's Garage is down mm -hmm. there. And then on the north side, they just started building some things up here. I was under the impression that they're going to put a Sam's Club in up there. I heard that rumor. Yeah. Uh, that's that. and so that's where I think it is. I think it's going or no, the Sam's Club is going to be next to the Walmart. I'm sorry, it's it's going to be north of the Walmart. Um, I thought it was going to be over here, but it's not. It's going to be north of the Walmart. So in north, let's, yeah, I think let's, it's it's a neighborhood where where you were pointing at by that lake. Yeah, let's switch to the to the satellite view. So there's the Walmart, and you see this giant patch of nothing up here. That's where the Sam's Club is going to go. Yeah, there's neighborhood over here, and there's not really enough space in this area for, for a, uh, a Sam's Club, but um, there's a Chick-fil-A in there that just opened. Uh, Homestate Brewing Company is a nice little brew pub uh, that's in there. Um, so this is, this is really the main shopping area when people talk about uh, Hamlin and Horizon West. This is the main shopping area that yeah, they're thinking of. Yeah, that's where you're going to spend most of your time. Yep. And I mean, it's pretty convenient. And even for us down in, uh, even for us down, we're all the way down here in Lakeview Point. Um, but even for us, it's pretty convenient because we just drive straight west uh, and then and then straight up and and we get there and it's pretty quick and easy. It's um, probably what, about 10 minutes? From it's about 10 at. minutes, yeah. Yep. And then you're probably what ten minutes from Disney too, maybe less. Uh, I can get if you get good traffic. I can get I can get to the Grand Floridian in like seven minutes with no traffic. That's cool. Um, so yeah, it's 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 pretty convenient. Uh, so I really like this. Um, you know, I really like this area. I think it's there's a lot of residential homes in that area. So it's um, it's probably one of the bigger sections that's still super close to Disney. This is the area that most of my buyers end up in, even if they say they want to be in, you know, Windermere or Winter Garden or yeah. Kissimmee, you know, we'll tour homes in those areas. But I'd say a large percentage of them end up in the Hamlin area just because homes are newer. It's got, you know, you don't have to worry about maintenance as much with your home. Right. Um, and it's just really close to the parks and it still has kind of like a town feel. To yes. It. So yeah. That's kind of what I've noticed in trends is a lot of people end up there. Um, yeah, I mean, I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, do you think, so I want to dig into your expertise with, with real estate a little bit. Um, you, like it, I think it seems to me like, because there's a lot of, of residential areas here, there's a lot of availability over here too. Do you think that plays into it, uh, to any extent? I think, well, I'll, I'll just speak to what my audience kind of buys and, you know, that's the Disney fan. And a lot of them want to be close to the parks. And if you've got an option between an older home that, you know, needs a new roof and needs to be re-landscaped or needs a new AC and a home that's five years old and they're the same price, it's, right. you're usually going to go for the, the, newer home, one. the home in Hamlin. Yeah. Yep. But um, it's, it's a cute area and availability. Homes are averaging right now a little over a month on 
on the market. Okay. So it's slowed down a little bit, but it's still a seller's market. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when I was buying, it was like less than a week. Yeah. Um, for a lot of things. When did so. you bought in 2022, right? Uh, July. Yeah. Of 22. Yeah. Yeah, that was hot. Uh huh. That was really hot. I it was, was like the peak. I was tired that <laughs> that time. It was. It was absolutely like the peak. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much an a overview of the Hamlin and Horizon West area. As we said, there's a big golf course. This whole section is uh, this whole section here is the is the Orange County Golf Course. So it's you got nice open space. It's not super dense housing. Um, what would you say um, are the cons for living in Hamlin Horizon West area, or just things you want people well, to be aware of? Uh, so one of the the biggest uh, things that irritates me is is actually getting to Disney because we have to go upside down road and onto Summer Lake and then this intersection here with Reams and Fiquet and Summer Lake Park, this intersection is a disaster. It's tight, yeah. It's... Um, and they're building another development right on the right side, the east side of that, and they're not really fixing the intersection when they're building that development. So yep. um, it's kind of frustrating and it's also kind of disappointing that they're not taking any effort to fix it. Um, but that's the only way. I mean, there actually there is other ways to get to Disney World. Um, yeah, you could go down Seidel onto 429. Yeah. So uh, down here at the bottom of the map, this is the um, this is the Western Way interchange of 429. And so actually, if we're going to if we're going to Animal Kingdom or studios, we absolutely will sometimes come down 429 and take Western Way into Disney, and it, it puts you right at Coronado Springs. And it's quick, too. It's quick. That's, that's a, quick a nice trip. That's a nice road. Western Way is a, a big road. There's only one light on it the whole stretch. Um, and so, yeah, getting down to anything in this area, Springs, studios, um, any of the resorts down here, Animal Kingdom, we, we pretty much will come that way. Uh, the only... We'll take uh, we'll take the Reams way to get to Magic Kingdom and and Epcot usually. Um, and I'm so glad they put in Floridian Place that road right there. Oh yes, because before that you used to have to cut through, through the parking lot through cast member parking. Yeah, and just like oh I'm I'm a cast member. You know, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but <laughs> right, <laughs> that was your only option before. That was yes. So I'm glad they did that. So now we can be- obey the rules. <laughs> right, right. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the Horizon West Hamlin area. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an overview of that area. And um, we're going to come back uh, next week and the week after and the week after that. We're going to talk about all these other areas <laughs> yeah. around uh, Disney World uh, that you might that you might think about moving to. Um, but yeah, we started with we started with Horizon West because that's where I ended up, and as you said, that's also one of the the places where a lot of people end up. Um, there's a lot to like about it. Yeah. There's a lot to like about it. Um, so uh, I guess that probably uh, that probably does it for this episode of the Magical Moves show. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks, Eric, for being here. If you're interested in looking at any real estate, uh, contact Eric. What's your email address? Eric at MagicalMoves.com. So Eric at MagicalMoves.com. Um and he can help you out with housing and questions and, and hopefully get yourself to Orlando like I did. Yeah. Um, but uh, thanks for joining us. Um, if you if you like this video, click like and subscribe and tell your friends and um, come back and visit us next week and we'll talk about another area. Uh, maybe we'll talk about Windermere because that's right next door yeah, next week. Um, so... Uh, Put, if you want us to talk about a specific topic or a specific area that you're looking at, put it in the comments. We'll look at the comments, and and we'll we'll get it on our schedule. Yeah. All right. See you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.